In this lesson, we discuss LinkedIn company pages. Specifically, we'll talk about creating a LinkedIn company page and customizing and optimizing your page. LinkedIn company pages are similar to Facebook pages, except that they're only for verified businesses within LinkedIn. They are a way to highlight a business to LinkedIn users, and you can post products, services, and offers on your page. You can also get customer recommendations on your page and add a jobs page to attract new talent. Now, there are some very specific requirements for adding company pages on LinkedIn. First of all, you need to be a current company employee with your position listed in the experience section of your profile. And you you need to have a company email address that is added and verified on your LinkedIn account to that company. And your company's email domain has to be unique to that company. And so you can't use something like a Yahoo address or a Gmail address. It has to be a unique domain name. And your profile strength, which we talked about earlier, must be listed as intermediate or all-star. And you have to have several connections is the final requirement. Go to Interests, Companies, and click on Add a Company. Then you can put in the company name and your email address at the unique domain name. And then verify that you're an official representative of the company and click on continue and then it will send you an email to the email address that you included and once you get the email then you can click through on the link that the email has embedded in it and confirm that it is your email address and once you've done that but you can click on confirm here and then you can start creating your company page so in a previous lesson we added Deltina U as one of the positions in my profile and I have an email address at Deltina U and so I was able to verify the this is my company and now I can start populating the page. Now there's a lot that you can put on a LinkedIn company page. It's much more robust than a Facebook page. Over here on the left we see we have our company name and then we have a description. Notice there's no formatting options again. We have a default language and we can choose some company page admins. Then over here on the right we can choose a company type and put in your website URL, choose a company industry and the year founded and then down toward the bottom you can see company locations and then there are a few image sizes you can create. You have a header image here, a standard logo image, and a square image. And I'm going to show you all of this in more detail a little bit later on. And if we scroll down even further, we see company specialties and then featured groups. We could list a few groups that we belong to here if we wanted to feature them on our page. Now if we go back to the top of our page, you see that there's a tab called Products and Services. If we click on that, first we get a little summary as to what can be on a products page. You can put in products services, or even events or mobile apps. So once we click on Get Started there, then we can start entering products. There's also a lot of information which you can enter for products. Like I said, I'll be talking about this in detail a little bit later on. And we can choose either product or service if we look over here on the left. We can choose a category. We can put a name in for our product. Over here on the right, we can put our website URL. And then some contacts, specific people to contact about this product or service. And scrolling a little further down, we have an image photo that's 100 by 80 pixels and then we can put in a description of our product or service and notice here that we actually have formatting options so we're going to be taking advantage of that and then over here on the right we can add a promotion for our product so we can give the promotion a title and a URL and then a brief description and we're not done yet we can create a bulleted list of product and service features we can add a disclaimer and then over here on the right we can feature a YouTube video about the product we can put in a title of our video and then the YouTube video video URL. So like I said, there's a lot going on on a LinkedIn company page. So of course, I have created a worksheet for it. So here I am on my LinkedIn page worksheet. So I have my company description, which is roughly 1,450 characters because that's the limit that I discovered in that area. And it has my best keywords in it. And remember that we can't format anything in there. So any list that you want to pull out, you want to put your little stars in front of. I have my company URL and I've chosen an industry. And if your business has locations, you would want to put that in there. I've listed my administrators for the page. And then I've prepared my images ahead of time. My header can be 646 by 220 pixels or larger. Now here's something I've noticed for those of you who have Facebook pages is the image for a Facebook page can also be cropped down to this size very conveniently. So you can use that same header image and you're going to be doing fine. Then you have a standard logo of 100 by 60 pixels and then a square logo of 50 by 50. And then here's my list of company specialties. Now I may not be able to use this many but I went ahead and wrote up a bunch that included my 
very best keywords. And then I decided not to feature any LinkedIn groups at this point. To get back to your page to edit it, you want to enter what your page URL is going to be, which is linkedin.com stroke company stroke whatever name you gave your company when you created the page. And then once you're here, you can pull down this edit button, click on edit page, and we haven't put anything in here yet, so I'm going to start populating it. So I have our company description in here. So I have my industry type and my URL. If I scroll down here, I don't have any locations, so I'm going to go over here to the left. This is the only page admin that's assigned to the page. And now I'm going to upload my images. Click on Add Image. So I selected the same image that I use for my Facebook page, and I can resize this. And it just cropped a little bit off of the bottom, and I'm fine with that. I can click Save. Now we have a standard logo, and then our small logo. So we have all of our images uploaded. Now I can start adding my company specialties. So now I've added all of my company specialties. And remember, I decided not to feature any groups. Now we scroll back up here to the top. Let's go ahead and click on Publish. So here's our published company page. Here is that medium-sized logo. Here is our header image. And then here's a small logo, which is going to represent us as we like things and interact as our page on LinkedIn. Let's scroll down a little further. We see our description. Here's our specialties. And then here is the other information we entered. To summarize this lesson, LinkedIn company pages are similar to Facebook pages, but are only for verified companies on LinkedIn. A company page can highlight a business, promote products and services, allow you to engage as your company on LinkedIn, and attract new job talent. There are specific requirements to creating a LinkedIn company page. You must have a position for that company on your profile, an email address with a unique domain name belonging to the company, and an intermediate or all-star rating. LinkedIn pages are more robust than Facebook pages, so prepare your content ahead of time and edit everything.